Today's topic is going to be negative numbers, otherwise known as integers. What they are, how to operate with them, add, subtract, multiply, even divide, and just where they come up in general. Master's for multiplying, I think that's the symbol we should use. X gets in confusion with the, the variable X in algebra. The raised dot gets in confusion with what? The period. And the calculator and the computers usually use the asterisk anyway. Might as well use it. That's what I'm going to use. 3 times 3 is 9. No problem. 3 times negative 3. Well, you know what? If multiplication is just a faster way to do adding, in a way it is, you have 3 negative 3s. Negative 3 plus negative 3 plus negative 3. Well, that would be negative 9. Thus, a positive times a negative is a negative. If you switch them around, let's say you have a negative times a positive, you still get negative 9. Switch them around, and guess what? It's both negative 9. The trouble is, the really crucial trouble is, when you have a negative times a negative, a negative times a negative is actually a positive. When they're both positive and you're multiplying, the good news is dividing is the same way. Dividing is the same way. Whatever rules you have for, add, or for multiplying, same thing for dividing. They do get a little confusing when you try to do the adding and subtracting and multiplying to get dividing all together. Both positive, positive. Both negative, positive. Now why is that? Well, let me give you two reasons why to kind of help you put that in perspective. I call the first one, the way I learned it, was called the, the good boy, bad boy method. Good boy, bad boy. Let's say you have a chart here. We have a good boy. We have a bad boy. Could be girls. I know it's not politically correct, but uh, hang with me. Let's say you move a bo good boy into the neighborhood or move a, bad, a good boy out. Good boy, bad boy, moving in, moving out. It's like positive and negative, positive and negative. A good boy moving into the neighborhood. You're in the neighborhood, someone nice, pleasant, hardworking comes into the neighborhood. That's good. Say a good boy that you're in your neighborhood, but moves away, leaves, gets transferred. Oh, that's bad. Kind of negative. Let's say a bad boy moves into the neighborhood. Oh, that's not good for the neighborhood. Can really disrupt a few neighborhoods. However, what happens if a bad boy that causes trouble, not the best situation, moves out of the neighborhood? Well, that's actually good, okay? One more. It's the video method. Let's say we take a video camera. We film it regularly, and we also film it backwards. And you might ask, boy, this guy's crazy. How can you film it backwards? Well, bear with me. You can film it backwards if you do kind of a two-step deal. Film it first, play it backwards on the VCR or whatever, and film that, you can actually film it backwards. But hang with me. Let's say you are going to go play that tape then. You're gonna play it regularly, and you're gonna play it backwards. So if we film it regularly, and play it regularly, you are going to see it like normal, regularly. If you film it regularly and play it backwards, you're going to see it backwards. If you film it backwards and play it just like you have it, well, you're going to see it backwards. But if you film it backwards and play it backwards, you actually get this. You're actually going to see it regularly. Two negatives make a positive. They will cancel each other out. That's kind of a way to remember it. They're both positive, positive. If they're different, negative. If they're both negative, positive. But keep that in mind because you know what? It gets confusing if you get that straight and unstraightened with the adding and subtracting. One area that gets confusing is the exponents. Negative four to the second. Negative four to the second means negative four times another negative four. That means your answer is positive. A negative times, well wait a minute, that's negative four times two. No, that's not negative four times two. That's two negative fours, one, two, negative four times negative four is actually positive. Anything squared is, any whole numbers, any integer is 
a positive answer. What happens if you have negative 4 to the third power? Here's a crazy thing, but it's true. Negative 4, negative 4, negative 4. Two negatives multiplied together, positive, times another negative, negative. It goes back and forth. Even exponents, even exponents, positive. Odd exponents, negative. Goes back and forth. Why? Because every time you have a negative times a negative, it gives you a positive. It switches it around, goes back and forth. And I think that's about it.